But it's just for one exercise. If you don't have it, don't worry about too much about it. No, don't worry too much about it. And uh, other than that, we're going to stretch our legs a little as well. So uh, before we start, we're going to warm up right now. We're starting right now. So welcome in everybody. My name is Marcel, teaching basically yoga every day. But today it's like going to be a little bit of a different exercises for runners. I'm also a runner. I'm a marathon runner. So release your shoulders, release your arms, release your legs, your head. How does your body feel? Release your whole body, just warming up a little bit, almost like a little bit of dancing, of jumping. Feel free to stretch your arms, jumping left and right, round right to the left shaking your legs out just to warm up a little bit before we start so today we're going to take care of runner's knee the runner's knee but we're also going to strengthen doing something for our belly so strengthen the legs a little doing something for our belly so it's all around practice and then in the end we're stretching through roughly our legs. I like to do that. And yeah, go also a little bit more into your knees. Really absorb the hit with your knees. When you're landing, land with your toes and then with your heels. And then jump into the, feel the knees. Let your shoulders go, let your head go again. Good job. Ah. And go quick. Quick, 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 faster, 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 okay, release, good, you know what, we're starting with the exercises right now, let's come to the floor, we're just doing first exercises multiple times, so I completely forgot to set up on the laptop here, so I can check that out good so what we're we doing slide on doing first the first one one leg comes by your side you're going to lie by your side feel free to really make sure you can hold the space however it feels good to you stand your leg either do it like this or like this we like this, it doesn't really matter, but what does matter that we can move the leg up and down. Like this, good. Just moving the leg up and down. Breathing deep. But your legs, your upper body. Gauge maybe the ankle a little bit as well. Up and down. Start to count. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Very sharp. Change around. The other side right away. Already start. does that feel? How does this side feel? Does it feel different? Let's count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Good. Come back, change the side. We're going to use our, our band here can put it around your big ties, big ties. If you have a little bit of a softer band, that would be good. Mine's quite, quite tough, quite, quite close. 
Going to lie by our sides again. We're going to open up, close down. Can also have the feet together. Just opening up and together. How does that feel? Mine. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release. Change the side. Your time. Change the side. <laughs> jump around like this. <laughs> Never done that in my life. And <laughs> again, same thing here. Opening up like a clam. Closing down again. Try to relax in your upper body. How does that feel? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This is for runner runner's knee. So the best exercises there are, at least from my experience, like these two exercises, really help you out a lot. Good job. Let's count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good, release. Put the band away, moment. We're going to change up the sequence a little bit. We're coming back to the two first. We're going to do kind of like two rounds-ish of at least the first exercises. I don't want to do too much today because we also want to stretch. So come to a wonderful sit. If you like to sit up on something, do that. Otherwise, you can also put a uh, additionally can also put something under your kneecaps, so they're not completely stretched through. So I'll do that. <laughs> so I'm sitting up on something, so I can have a straight back, right? Additionally, you can again bolster bolster your knees with some clothes, for example. Putting them there, right? And from there, bring your one hand, one side, around your leg. And we're lifting the leg up, letting the, let it go down again. Just go for a round of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, it's already super cramping. Three, two, one, release. Shake your leg out a little bit. Yeah, it's probably too much for me because I have a little bit of muscle ache going on today. Change around the other side. Try to have a straight back. And again, lift 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Good. Shake your legs out. Going nice and easy. Just five. Lifting buff legs. Bring your hands forward. Lifting buff legs. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit like shit. Really practice them more and we will practice more, I promise. Good, let's lie down on the floor. Put your pillow away. Next one. We are going to try here. I mean, what we're doing is we're turning our thighs inward and back. So our lower back comes a little bit off the floor. We're going to 
put that again a little bit away by drawing the pe belly button in and up. So we're basically on the floor. There's not too much space in between there, but still you can turn your thighs inwards and back. Kind of like really need needing to put some more tension in your belly button. Good. And from there, bring your arms by your sides. We lift our legs up. Trying to keep our whole back onto the floor all the time. So your thighs turn inward and back. If you can do that, if that doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry about it. Slowly release your legs down and try to keep your lower back on the floor as good as you can. And as soon as you feel that you're losing the connection with your lower back, come up again a little bit. And slowly release down. Trying to keep your lower back connected to the floor as good as you can. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Good. Shake your hips a little bit left and right. We're not going overboard of the exercises today, as said. I feel achy in my whole body. A lot of muscle aches going on, but again, if you're joining in for the first time here, there's a lot to learn just by learning the different postures here. Good. So before we go into stretches, we're going to do the first two exercises again. First two exercises, we go again. So, again, we are coming to our side. Lie on your side, stand your left leg, engage your ankle a little up and down with your left leg. How does that feel? And let's start count slowly. Feel how your side is working here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Good job. Pinch the side. Other side. How does that feel? Do you like that? Two. Okay. Good. And again, right leg up, up. And a step feel. Relax your upper body, your head. Feel how your side is working here. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight, fight a little bit. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good job. Change the side. Using your band again. Pull it, bring it around your legs. Your way. Afterwards. After these exercises, we're going to stretch our legs, giving them a little bit more space today, honoring them, feeling great, you know, lie to your side again, doing the clam, connect your legs together, good, open your legs up and close them down, Whoop. like a clam. How does that feel? Try to be released in your upper body. As released as you can be. How far can you open them up? How does that feel? 
Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, smile, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Don't worry if you don't feel that much. It's alright. Let's go. Let's go again. Other side. Go, go. Be soft in your upper body. Make sure, make sure it feels comfortable to the other side. Again, these exercises are for runner's knee, runner knee. If you have, if you're a runner and you have a pain in your knees, then these exercises are amazing for you. Especially the first two, I mean these two that we're doing right now. All the other ones are a little bit of a bonus. We're just... See where we are, like in handstands and so on. Go step three. Good. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good job. From here we're going to stretch a little bit, so let's stand up, everybody. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Jump, first of all, releasing again. Tension that has built up right now, that we built up right now. Good job. From here, bring your feet apart. Second toes are pointing forward. Push your butt to the back, engage your thighs, engage your knees. And reach forward, push your butt to the back and rounding your whole back down to the floor. Another step feel. Rounding your whole back. Good job. From here, let's wander over to your right toes. Sing hello to your right toes. Focus on your butt, your legs. Keep your legs engaged, keep your knees engaged. Wandering over to your left toes. Sing hello to your left toes. Breathing in deep, rounding your whole back here. Come back into the middle. Think about cat pose if you can. Really think about rounding your whole back. <sighs> Good job. From here, come again to the right leg. Bring the left leg, left hand to your right toes. And opening up with your right arm, if you can do that. Change around the other side. Don't worry if you can't get that far, just do however it's accessible to you. So if you stay just by going to our toes, that's amazing. Honoring your body and where you are today. Bend your knees. Bring the right hand to your thigh, left hand to your thigh, stepping left, right, left. Good job. Shake your legs out, shake your arms, shake your elbows, shake your wrists. And step feel. And from here, come to the front of our mat. First we go, just do a forward fold, bend your knees. Hinge at your hips a little and round them down completely. Rock at your head, front and back, releasing your head completely. So yes, yes, yes. Keeping your hips over your heels as good as you can, even if your knees are bent. Try to keep your hips over your heels. This means that we have a lot of weight over the toes. Pushing into the do into the toes. You can grab around your elbows and swing left and right. Good. From here, optional, bring your hands behind your back together, interlace your fingers and go away with your arms. And from there, let gravity take over. Let gravity do its thing. Try to keep keep your hips over your heels as good as you can. And feel free to nod your head as well. And 
from here, bring your hands back to your hips. Elbows pointing upward, bend your knees and stand up with a straight back. Bring your arms up into the sky, slight back bend, engage your belly. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Close your eyes. How does your body feel? Good job. Bringing the left leg forward, the right leg to the back, bend your right knee. Bend your right knee. From here we hinge at your hips. Hinging at your hips, get long from your hips to your head. Our front knee is engaged, so are we not pushing the knee to the ground, but we keep it engaged. And with our back, we're going straight front and down, feeling our back. Our back is strong, working. Feel a hamstring stretch here, breathing in deep. As we're breathing out, sink a little bit deeper. Again, breathing in. Head long from your hips to your head. And as you're breathing out, try to relax, sink a little bit deeper. Good job. Release, change around the other side. Don't overdo it. Wherever you are, honor wherever you are. And your left leg to the back. Right leg is straight. Engage your kneecap a little bit. From here we hinge at your hips, hinge at your hips, push your butt to the back, feel a hamstring stretch here, breathing in deep, you're doing great. And as you're breathing out, relax a little bit more, head is in line with the spine, breathing in deep, as you're breathing out, relax a little more, one more time, deep inhale. And relax into it. It's all about relaxing when we're stretching. Release. Come up again. Shake your legs out. Good job. Good job. We're now changing it up. Feel free to jump a little bit quick. And we're coming to the floor. Let's come to the floor. Come to the front of the mat. Bend your knees. Roll to the back. Wow. Oh. Come to your back, lie on your back. Good. What we're doing is we're still on our legs right now. Extend the left leg. We're pulling in the right leg on our thigh, on our top of our shin bone, or on your thigh. You can grab around wherever you want. What you want to feel is that our hips are connected to the floor, our shoulders are connected to the floor, our ankles are connected to the floor. Breathing in deep. And breathing out. Breathing in deep again. And breathing out. Good job. And here release. Bring your left leg up. Your ankle. Over your knee. And grab around your thigh. And pull in. Pull in. Push out with your elbow a little tiny bit if this feels comfortable. If it feels uncomfortable, be soft with yourself. Be really, really soft with yourself. Breathing in deep. Breathing out. How does that feel? Having your shoulders connected to the floor. As good as you can. Release. From here, extend your right leg, grab around your left shin bone, pull in. Breathing in deep here. And when you're breathing out, try to relax and pull in a little bit more. From here, release. Bring your leg down to the floor, bring your other ankle over your knee. And pull in around your thigh. Pull in around your thigh, pushing out with your right elbow, having your shoulders connected to the floor as good as you can. Great job for your lower back here, what we're doing right now. Good job. 
Breathing in deep. Release. And both legs down to the floor. Bring either the left or the right leg as you like. Up. Grab around your thigh. Pull in. And your shoulders connected to the floor. Point up. Toes up. Foot up. And toes down. Foot down. Toes up. Foot up. Toes down. Foot down. Toes up. Foot up. Toes down. Foot down. Have a step feel. Wherever you are today, don't overdo it. Especially the first time, go a little bit softer before you really know like, some exercises that we go through. If you don't know the exercise, go softer. And then start to know the exercise. Be free. Push yourself a little bit more. So if you next inhale, breathe in deep. Release this movement of your foot. And as we are breathing out, pull in a little bit more. Keep your left ankle connected to the floor. Still, your shoulders connected to the floor, the hips connected to the floor. Good job. Breathing in deep. And then engage your whole leg. Release your arms. Try to keep your leg there and then slowly release your leg down to the floor. Good. Change up. Other leg up. Grab around your thigh. Pull in. Have your shoulders connected to the floor. Toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down. Toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down. Toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down. Foot up, toes down. Toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down. Good job. Release. Breathing in deep. And as you're breathing out, pull in a little more. Don't overdo it again. Less is more. Feel comfortable when you're doing it. Yeah. Breathing in deep. Engage your whole leg. Release your arms. Hold your leg with your muscles where it is. Slowly release your leg down to the floor. Feel how your muscles are working. Good job. Release. Bring your arms over your head. Stretch your right leg, your right arm. And your left leg and your left arm. And right leg and right arm. Left leg and left arm. Change your arm again. And change your arm again. Cool. Cool thing. How does that feel for you? And from here, release. Bring your knees up. And come with your arms into cactus position. So elbows next to your shoulders, fingers are pointing up. And release your knees to the right and then to the left. Windshield wipers here. Let one knee lead the way here. And to the left, the left knee leads the way. And to the right, the right knee leads the way. How does it feel? Watch out, everybody. And from here, slowly preparing for the final relaxation pose, Shavasana. Extend your legs whenever you're ready. If you like to do any kind of other position, please feel free to do that. Stand your legs, feet are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your sides, palms are pointing up, tuck your chin in, and just be close your eyes. Close your eyes and just be. We did another exercise with both sides. If it's two-sided exercise, then follow us into Shavasana. And here, let everything go. Let everything go. Get you back in about a minute.
her eyes closed. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toe. In this lying position on the floor, slowly bring your knees in towards your belly. And from there, shift yourself to either the left or the right side. Come to lie down on your side body. In this side body position, release all the tension the skin of the face, Placing all the tension in your chong, your tongue, your neck and your shoulder, your arms and the elbows and the wrists and the fingers, in the chest and the belly and your hips and your whole spine, in your back, in your legs, in your knees and your ankles and your heels and your toes, breathing in deep, nurturing your whole being. As you're breathing out, feel how the gravity of the earth carries you, holds you, takes care of you. Uh, with your next inhale, sit yourself up into a final sitting position. Into a wonderful sitting position. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Whenever you arrive in this sitting position, make sure it feels comfortable. Honoring your physical practice. Bow your head in front of your heart. Namaste. The emptiness inside of me recognizes the emptiness inside of you. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful night, wherever in the world you are right now. Release your arms and open up your eyes again. Welcome back. Here. Hope you enjoy. Great job for taking care of yourself. We see each other tomorrow again for another yoga lesson. Right now we are changing it up again to a little bit of editing. We are needing to, ed to edit the second YouTube video uh, for herni herniated disc issues. And I thought about that. Um, I want to quickly put in another little video. And I think for that we can use the live stream. It's just a little, little tiny segment. But what I need to do is I need to come a little bit closer with the camera. Or maybe... Yeah, I think I bring the camera a little bit closer for a moment. And um, I don't really need to explain it further, but I just need to do the action. So the, uh, the action that we're doing, the herniated disc exercise, we are kind of like turning the thighs inward and back, engaging our belly in and up. But uh, mainly we are also focusing on turning the thighs inward and back, which creates more space in our lower back. 